אזרחי ישראל היקרים, כוחות חמאס פלשו הבוקר לשטח ישראל, בבוקרו של יום חג, We are in a world racked by uncertainty. A terrifying event has unfolded in the heart of Israel, sending shockwaves across the world. Recent events have left the entire world apprehensive, agitated and afraid as we witness the fulfillment of ancient prophecies. We realize that something important is about to happen. What is happening in Israel and what does it mean for all of us? Stay with me until the finac of this video. And you will understand the importance of Israel, and you will find these answers and much more. No place on earth can rival the mystical allure of Israel, the holy land that has attracted believers for centuries. Nestled in the heart of the Middle East, this revered land is a tapestry woven with threads of history, faith, and divine encounters. When you set foot in Israel, You'll find yourself stepping into ruins that whisper stories of the world's oldest civilizations. This sacred ground, strategically located at the crossroads ads of Africa, Asia, and Europe, has been a coveted prize and a corridor connecting East and West. From the triumphs of conquerors to turbulent conflicts, the Holy Land has witnessed the ebb and flow of humanity's destiny. with its blood-soaked soil serving as a solemn reminder of its tumultuous past. But amid perpetual tension between Jews and Arabs, Israel reveals a fascinating paradox. Different visions collide, offering a symphony of beauty and diversity. Verdant lands give way to vast expanses of arid desert, reflecting the spiritual dichotomy that surrounds this land sacred to pilgrims throughout the ages. Israel has been the final destination, guided by the sacred scriptures. These intrepid seekers face countless dangers and difficulties to follow the same paths as their ancestors. From the timeless majesty of Jerusalem to the revered Western Wall, from the sacred waters of the Jordan River to the panoramic views of the Mount of Olives, each step reveals a picture of faith etched into the souls of those who wish to venture within the Holy Land. The convergence of three great religions gives rise to an extraordinary tapestry of reverence. Judaism, Christianity, and Islam find solace in the arms of this sacred ground. The importance of Israel for Christianity is incomparable, as it supports the very foundations of faith. It is where Jesus, the Messiah, graced the world with His presence, delivering hope, performing miracles, and, ultimately, offering salvation. The echoes of his life, death, and resurrection resonate through the annals of time, drawing countless believers to follow in his footsteps and witness the miracles of his faith materialize before their eyes. For the Jewish people, Israel represents the fulfillment of ancient promises, a land flowing with milk and honey, and the sacred birthright entrusted to them by God. The heroic tales of David and Gideon come to life, and the pages of the Torah are intertwined with the very fabric of the earth, the land of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Israel embodies the essence of its covenant with the divine. Even Islam, in its sacred texts, recognizes the blessedness of this earth. Jerusalem, the city of Isra, Mirage, occupies a place of profound significance. Al Aqasa Mosque and the Dome of the Rock are testaments to the rich Islamic heritage that intertwines with the land's historical past. Although interpretations may vary, the essence remains the same. Israel is a land blessed and revered by Muslims around the world. In addition to these three great religions, the Holy Land opens its arms to the Baha'i religion. Here, tranquility finds expression in the Baha'i mansion. the resting place of Baha'u'llah and the lush terraced gardens that house the shrine of the Bab. The harmonious blend of nature and spirituality invites Baha'i followers on a sacred pilgrimage, forging a deeper connection to their beliefs. However, a major point of contention between two major religions is the issue of rebuilding the Third Temple. The mystery surrounding the Third Temple has captured the imagination of scholars and believers alike. igniting debates and prophecies that span centuries. Could this long-awaited temple be closer than we think? 
Some argue that biblical references to the third temple are symbolic, representing spiritual promises and prophecies rather than a literal architectural undertaking. They believe that the church incarnate in Christ replaced the physical temple, echoing Jesus' words about his resurrection as the true restoration of the temple. However, ancient prophecies paint a vivid picture of a future messianic age where a righteous descendant of David will reign in Jerusalem and the third temple will rise once more. Throughout history, courageous attempts to rebuild the third temple have faced unexpected challenges. Emperor Julian of Rome granted permission in 361 C, but frequent fires and earthquakes, including the devastating Galilee earthquake of 363 C, warded the project. In subsequent centuries, power shifts and conflicts left the Temple Mount in ruins, denying Jews access to their holy site. Since the establishment of the State of Israel in 1948, Jews around the world have returned to their ancestral homeland, and with their return, a powerful movement to rebuild the Third Temple has gained momentum. However, a formidable obstacle stands in their way, the iconic Dome of the Rock which currently occupies the Temple Mount. Despite this challenge, preparations for the Third Temple have been underway for years. Sacred objects and priestly vestments were meticulously crafted and a new generation of Levites were trained to perform the sacred rituals. Even red heifers are now in Israel. Today, the international community rejects Israel's claims to Jerusalem, increasing the complexity of rebuilding the Third Temple. Israeli law prohibits Jewish worship on the Temple Mount, while Muslim authorities deny the existence of a temple there. So, everything seems to be ready for the important reconstruction except for one crucial element, the land to build on. Despite various arguments, there have been significant historical discoveries that support the location of the first and second temples on the Temple Mount. One of the main ones is the discovery of the Pool of Siloam. Renowned archaeologists Roni Heisch and Elron embarked on an excavation near Jerusalem on the Temple Mount, deep within the city of David they discovered two ancient stone steps, leading to the stunning revelation of a monumental pool from the Second Temple period. This incredible structure, measuring 225 feet long with trapezoidal corners, dating to the end of the first century BCE, the Pool of Siloam was significant during the time of Jesus. Fed by the waters of the Jian Spring, it was used for ritual bathing and provided a vital source of fresh water for the city's inhabitants. Some scholars even propose that it may have functioned as a Roman-style swimming pool, offering respite on hot summer days. But the story of the Pool of Siloam does not begin with Jesus. Its origins date back to the reign of King Hezekiah in the late 6th century BCE. Faced with an impending Assyrian siege, Hezekiah commissioned the construction of a 1750-foot tunnel, known as Hezekiah's Tunnel, to divert water from the spring of Gion to the city. This engineering marvel ensured Jerusalem's survival and laid the foundation for the following pools, including the one where Jesus stood. From its destruction by Babylonian King Nebuchadnezzar in 586 BC to its eventual demolition by Roman Emperor Titus around 70 AD. The journey of the Pool of Siloam is rich in historical significance. Its rediscovery in modern times represents a pivotal moment in biblical archaeology, providing tangible evidence of the miracles described in the Gospel of John. So how important is all this in the grand scheme of end-time events? Deep in the heart of Israel is the Jezreel Plain, a fertile valley that stretches from Haifa Bay to the Jordan River. This historic battlefield, also known as the Valley of Armageddon, has witnessed countless conflicts throughout the ages, echoing the footsteps of the Egyptians, Assyrians, Babylonians, Roman forces, Crusaders, and Israelis. The ancient city of Megiddo lies at the entrance to the valley, strategically positioned on a hillside. Megiddo, appropriately called the Place of Troops, has become synonymous with the prophesied Armageddon mentioned in the Book of Revelation. But before the final battle begins, important events must take place. 
the scattered tribes of Israel will be reunited, returning to their promised land as prophesied by Ezekiel. He went further to say that the Ezekiel, he went further to say that the earth itself will be rebuilt and will flourish like the Garden of Eden. Zechariah also prophesied that Jerusalem, the eternal city, will regain its status as the capital of the Israelites as the nation of Judah grows stronger. Meanwhile, a formidable alliance of evil will emerge, an amalgam of evil and deceit known as the beast, out of the sea, as written in Revelation 13. Although the Valley of Armageddon has symbolic significance, the battle transcends geography and borders. Of nations, across the globe, God's enemies will gather in a futile attempt to rebel against His authority and rule. The Battle of Armageddon will be a multi-front conflict engulfing the world in chaos and destruction. As the battle rages, God will unleash His arsenal of elemental forces to display His sovereignty. Earthquakes, floods, hailstorms, landslides, storms, plagues, forest fires, and lightning will shake the foundations of God. Earth, confusing the enemies of God in their frenzied discord, they may even turn against each other realizing the futility of their rebellion before the Almighty. The stage is set, the pieces carefully arranged, and the imminent battle of Armageddon looms on the horizon like an omen. If you enjoyed this video, please share your love with a like and subscribe to our channel to enjoy more exciting content. Don't forget to activate the bell to be the first to receive notifications about our next videos. And don't miss our playlist called Prophecies. Until the next video, may God be with you.